Major Agfangzama Agreement in Sentences. So you did agreement in sentences. Yes. Can you give me an example of a badly written sentence? Yeah. So the boy was tall. The boy was tall. So it started off as the boy were tall. You changed it to the correct agreement, which was yeah. the boy was tall. Yes. Good. Well done. Do you understand it better? Yeah. Good. Then we done a poem that you would say that it was He is like a monster. He is cheeky. He is engineer. He is fine. He's jolly. Yeah. So we were looking at a poem from the famous poets called Rod, Charles poet called Roger McGough, and you looked at his poem called The Writer of This Poem Is and it used simile. So you're using the same style of writing. Okay? Good. And then we are writing a letter from Alani. So you're writing a letter to yeah. somebody you know? Alana. Yeah? Yes. Dear Alana, you know what happened since when you left the house turned crazy. Alani Jordan said she had hidden children's keys from the cupboard. Alani said she turned into a cat with a red nose. He also is like a clown, and he is funny. Blanket has killed a chicken. The other chickens ate that chicken. It was horrible. Right back soon. Super. Okay. Today in grammar we learn similes. It is something else to tell a sentence like. As fierce as a lion. Okay, so with similes, you are comparing one thing to another thing. So, for instance, the clouds are as fluffy as cotton wool. Yeah? yeah. So that's exactly what you were doing. And we've done more similes. And you have to um, circle the similes that were in this story, like as happy as a king. Okay, and do you know why we were doing similes? What was the connection to why we were doing similes today? To write a poem. Using similes, exactly. Yeah. And the poem I write is, He's as tall as a tree, big like a dinosaur, He's cute like a cat, cheeky like a monkey, loud like a crocodile, uh, mm -hmm. always falling like an ant, who do you think it is? Sergi. And then we write Alana's letter. It is, Dear Alani, your name is still Alani. How are you? Here it's been quite crazy since you went. The animals escaped twice. That night she won't move broke. Then that morning the food shed broke and pushed the chickens fence down and they all escaped. Blanket killed one and the other one's chickens were eating her. Did your brother or sister got born yet? Tell me soon and answer this letter. Bye bye from Judy. Very good. So six and where else could the other six be? Yeah. Okay, check their six there. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. So link those two together then. We've done that. Brilliant. Now, uh, we've got s how many again were here? Six. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven matched with? That one. That one. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Okay. No. So that one? Yeah. There were seven there, weren't there? Yeah. And how many was there here? Seven. Seven, so we link those together. Mm -hmm. Slow it down. Three. How many are here? Three. So let's add them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what do we write there? Six. Right. That's right, so we put the six in the box. No, wrong box, that one. Right, we'll leave that there because it might be right, okay? We'll see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah! How many fish have we got there? One. one. 
Three, four, four fish. Oh, there's only four. Look, <laughs> four. One, two, three, four. How many jumpers? No, he's coloring another one. Oh, those are socks. How many socks? One. One. Two. two three. three. How many jumpers? Three. Let's count with me. Five, one. One. Two. Three. Three jumpers. Yes. So you've used some time problems with a yeah. timeline and counted how many minutes between each start time and finish time. Good. Yeah. And for your English, what did you do? So we've looked at Roger McGough poems yeah. and we looked at two different yeah. styles. What was the first one about? Can you remember? Yeah. It used something called similes. Yeah. You wrote a poem, you wrote some poems about your brothers, didn't you? Yeah. Look, he's like a monster. He is cheeky. He's he is engineer. He is five. He's jolly. Okay. And you used um, personification yeah. in poems. And with that, we described things, objects that would normally not have feelings. We made them quite human and like animals. Yeah. Clever. But we're, yeah. we're very clever that way. Yeah. Um, do you want to give an example of a poem that you wrote? Yeah. We don't dance and fall to the pool. The pool sinks and push the window on the house. The house sinks and put her to the right place. The window shout, he, he, he. Okay, very good. And what did you do in science this week as well? In science, we do. We do about the animals from farmers. Mm -hmm. The scribble to the scripture. He's a small animal, he's gray, he's a mama with a bushy tail. Where does it live? In a wooden box, in a garden, and it makes a nest in a tree. Okay, so because we were looking at ecosystems, yeah. and then we're beginning to go into thinking about what a food chain is. Yeah. So with ecosystems, you have to think about the animals that live in a certain place. Okay, brilliant. Thank you, Sarah. This week we do the mass test, and we do in mass the time problems, and then we do in the English the poems. He's tall and a dinosaur, big like a dinosaur. He's cute like a cat, cheeky like a monkey, large like a crocodile, always falling like an ant. Who do you think it is? Say it. Very good. And we do um, the system animals like the scribbles. He lives in the parks and gardens and he eats apples, nuts and berries. And the twin oven, the oak tree, the caterpillar and the earth worm. Very good. So you've learnt about ecosystems as well. So we're beginning to talk about what a food chain is beginning to look like. So we're starting with the animals that live in one place. And then we're going to talk about later next week about how the animals... Um, how the food chain works. Brilliant. Okay. And you looked at personification as well. Do you remember the poem you wrote about personifying something? What did you personify? What did you make come alive in your poem? The playground. The playground. Have you got the poem there to read? No. Okay. Just read that. The house talking. The slide walked. The ladder ate paper. The game was breathing. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. So what did you do? What is that? Tractor. Tractor. It's a tractor and this is the wheels. Yeah. And then you will see them here. Yeah. Sergi, how many wheels are there? Four. Sergi. One. One. Two. Yeah. <laughs> and how do um, how you make this digger? What is that colour? Yes, what is that colour? Pencil or paint? 
You paint it yeah. with the paintbrush. Yeah. And what colour is it? Which colour? What colour? Which colour? Cheese. Orange. 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 Well done. Black. Well done, Sergi.